。刘飞源的英文教室啊，知识阅读篇第九十八集，我们来回顾回顾三十四到四十一集，讲法国维基百科的。那我们分两集再下，把分两集把它念完，因为我们前面都解释过了啊，意思都讲清楚了。是，当然有些很多人没看过。如果你看到这边意思不懂，就回去看三十四到四十一集啊。如果你看过了一，或者你英文程度好懂了，那你就跟着我念啊。或者说你要练听力，你就眼睛闭起来或怎么样啊，就听听我听听我这个念的。那念的时候呢，第一个咬字嘛啊，听听咬字啊。第二个就是起承转合啊。第三个就是抑扬顿挫啊，哪边会。快一点，那会会哪些会慢一点啊？听这些门道。那我们一个句子黑色啊，一个句子红色啊，然后动词全部都用绿色标出来，这样比较清楚。那基本上一个句子一个动词啊，但有时候可以两个三个啊，就是用连接词啊啊，连接词当中的啊对等连接词啊，或者是标点符号里面的啊分号啊，这些就可以变成两个以上的动词啊。我们动词是讲主句动词啊。那词句动词不算啊，那是补充性的。好，念一下。France became the most populous country in Europe and had a tremendous influence of European politics, economy, and culture. France became the most used language in diplomacy, science, literature, and international affairs, and remained so until the 20th century. France obtained many of these possessions in the Americas, Africa, and Asia. Anna Louis Fifteenth, Louis Sixteenth, Great Grandson, France lost New、uh, Louis Fourteen,、uh, New France, and most of its Indian possessions after its defeat in the Seventeen a、uh, Seven Years' War. Louis XVI actively supported Americans. He was seeking their independence from Great Britain. The financial crisis, aggravated by France's involvement in the American Revolutionary War, was one of many contributing factors to the French Revolution. Much of the enlightenment occurred in French intellectual circles, and the major scientific breakthroughs, inventions. Such as the discovery of oxygen and the first hot air balloon carrying passengers, were achieved by French scientists. French explorers took part in the voyages of scientific exploration through maritime expeditions around the globe. The Enlightenment philosophy, in which reason is advocated as a primary source. For legitimacy and authority, undermine the power of and support for the monarchy, and how paid way for the French Revolution. Revolutionary France, facing financial troubles, King Louis XVI summoned the Estate General in May 1789 to propose solutions to his government. Yes, it began to an In Paris, the representatives of third estate formed into a national assembly, signaling the outbreak of the French Revolution. Fearing that the king would suppress the newly created national assembly, insurgents stormed the Bastille on 14 July 1789, a date which would become Fran France's National Day. In early August 1789, the National Constituent Assembly abolished the privileges of the nobility, such as personal serfdom and exclusive hunting rights. Through the Declaration of Rights of Man and of the Citizen, France established fundamental rights for man. The Declaration of First and Natural and in Prescriptible rights of man to liberty, property, security, and resistance to oppression. Freedom of speech and press were declared, and arbitrary arrest outlawed. It called for the destruction of 
aristocratic privileges and the proclaimed freedom and equal rights for all men, as well as access to public office based on talent rather than birth. In November 1789, the Assembly decided to nationalize the sale of property of Roman Catholic Church, which has had been the largest landowner in the country. In July 1790, the civil constitution of the clergy reorganized the French Catholic Church, canceling the authority of the church to levy taxes, etc. On 10th August 1789, an angry crowd threatened the palace of King Louis XVI, who took re refuge in a legislative assembly. The National Convention, chosen in the first elections under male universal suffrage, on 20 September 1792 succeeded the Legislative Assembly and on 21 September abolished the monarchy by proclaiming the French First Republic. As King Louis XVI was convicted of treason and uh, guillotined in January 17. 93. France had declared war on Great Britain and the Dutch Republic in November 1792 and did the same of Spain in March 1793. In the spring of 1793, Austria and Prussia invaded France. Napoleon, 19th century. Napoleon Bonaparte the seized control of the Republic in 1799 becoming first consul and late emperor of the French Empire. It's a continuation of war sparked by the European monarchies against the French Republic, changing sets of European coalitions declared wars on Napoleon's empire. His armies conquered most of the continent of Europe with swept victories. Members of the Bonaparte family were appointed as the monarchies in some of the newly established kingdoms. These victories led to the worldwide expansion of French revolutionary ideals and reforms, such as the metric system, the Napoleonic Code, and the Declaration of Rise of Man. In June 1812, Napoleon attacked Russia, reaching Moscow. Thereafter, his army disintegrated through supply problems, disease, Russian attacks, and finally, and the final wonder. After the catastrophic Russian campaign and ensuring uprising European monarchies against his rule, Napoleon was defeated and the Bourbon monarchy restored. About a million Frenchmen died during the Napoleonic Wars. After his brief return from exile, Napoleon was finally defeated in 1815 at the Battle of Waterloo. The monarchy was reestablished with new constitutional limitations. The discredited Bourbon dynasty was overthrown by the Ju July Revolution of 1830 which established a constitutional July monarchy. In that year, French troops conquered Algeria, establishing the first colonial presence in Africa since Napoleon's aborted invasion of Egypt in 1798. In, in 1848, general arrest led to the February Revolution and the end of July monarchy. The abolition of slavery and introduction of male universal suffrage, which were briefly enacted during the French Revolution, were reenacted in 1848. In 1852, the President of the French Republic, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, Napoleon's first nephew, was proclaimed Emperor of the Second Empire as Napoleon III. It multiplied French interventions abroad, especially in Crimea, in Mexico, and Italy, which resulted in the annexation of Dutch 
the Savoy in the County of Nice, then part of the Kingdom of Sardinia. Napoleon III was unseated following defeat in the Franco Prussian War of 1870, and his regime was replaced by the Third Republic. By 1875, the French con conquest of Algeria was complete, and approximately 825,000 Algerians were killed as a result. French had colonial possessions in various forms since the beginning of the 17th century. By the 19th and 20th centuries, its global overseas colonial empire extended greatly and became the second largest in the world behind the British Empire. Including metropolitan France, the total area of land under French sovereignty almost reached 13 million square kilometers in the 1920s and 1930s, 8.6 percent of worst land. Known as the uh, Belle Epoch, the turn of century was a period characterized by optimism, regional peace, economic prosperity, and technological, scientific, and cultural innovations. In 1905, state secularism was officially established. Contemporary period. France was a member of the Triple Entente when World War I broke out. A small part of northern France was occupied, but France and its allies emerged victorious against the central powers at a tremendous human and material cost. World War I left 1.4 million French soldiers dead, 4% of its population. Between 27 and 30% of soldiers conscripted from 1912 to 1915 were killed. The inbound years were marked by intense international tensions and a variety of social reforms introduced by the popular French government. In 1940, France was invaded and occupied by Nazi Germany and Italy. Metropolitan France was divided into a German occupation zone in the north and an Italian occupation zone in the southeast at Vichy, France. A newly established authoritarian regime collaborating with Germany in the south, while free France, the government in exile led by Charles de Gaulle, was set up in London. From 1942 to 1945, about 160,000 French citizens, including around 75,000 Jews, were deported to death camps at the concentration camps in Germany and occupied Poland. In September 1943, Corsica was the first French metropolitan territory to liberate itself from the Axis. On 6 June 1944, the Allies invaded Normandy, and in August, they invaded Provence. Over the following year, the Allies and the French resistance emerged victorious over the Axis powers, and French sovereignty were restored with the establishment of the Provisional government of the French Republic. This entering government established by de Gaulle aimed to continue to wage war against Germany and to push collaborators from office. It also made several important reforms. Charles de Gaulle took an active part in many major events of the 20th century. A hero of World War I, leader of the Free French during World War II. He then became president, where he facilitated decolonization, maintained France as a major power and overcame the revolt of May 1968. The GPRF laid the groundwork for a new constitutional order that resulted in the Fourth Republic, which saw particular economic growth. France attempted to regain control of French Indochina, but was defeated by the Viet Minh in 1954 at a climatic battle of Dien Bien Phu. Only months later, France faced another anti 
colonials to conflict in Algeria. In 1958, the weak and unstable Fourth Republic gave way to the Fifth Republic, which included a strengthened presidency. The May 16 aid protests, a massive social movement, would ultimately lead to many social changes, such as the right to abortion, women empowerment, as well as the decriminalization of homosexuality. In the context of the Cold War, De Gaulle pursued a policy of national independence towards the Western and Eastern blocs. To this end, he withdrew from NATO's military integrated command, launched a nuclear development program, and made France to force nuclear power. He restored cordial franco German relations to create a European counterweight between the American and Soviet spheres of influence. However, he opposed any development of a supranational Europe, favoring the Europe of sovereign nations. In France, it is considered to be the watershed moment when the conservative moral ideal shift towards the more liberal moral ideal. Although the revolt was a political failure, it announced a split between the French people and de Gaulle, who resigned shortly after. In the post gaullist era, France remained one of the most developed economies in the world, but faced several economic crises that resulted in a high employment rates and increasing public debt. In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, France has been at the forefront of the development of a supranational European Union, notably by signing the Maastricht Treaty in 1992, establishing the Eurozone in 1999, and signing the Lisbon Treaty in 2007. France was also gradually but surely reintegrated into NATO and has since participated in most NATO sponsored wars. Since the 19th century, France has received many immigrants. These have been most, mostly male foreign workers from European Catholic countries who generally re returned home when not employed. During the 1970s, France faced economic crisis and allowed new immigrants to permanently settle in France with their families and to acquire French citizenship. It resulted in hundreds of thousands of Muslims living in subsidized public housing and suffering from very high employment rates. Since the 1995 Paris Metro and the RER bombings, France has been sporadically targeted by Islamist organizations, notably the Charlie Hebdo attack in January 2015 which provoked the largest public rallies in French history. Gathering 4.4 million people, the November 2015 Paris attack, which resulted in 130 deaths, the dead, the dead attack on French soil since World War I, or World War II, and the deadliest in the European Union since the Madrid train bombings in 2004, as well as the 2016 Nice track attack, which caused 87 deaths during the Bastille Day celebrations. Operation Channel France's military efforts to contain ISIS killed over 1,000 ISIS troops between 2014 and 2015. Ah, 把这个念完了啊